So far in our discussions of classes, you might have noticed a similarity between classes and structs. Well, as it turns out, classes and structs are the same thing. Both can have public and private sections, though when we went over structs, you didn't see that it had both public and private sections. It's actually the case that it can. Both can have member variables, both can have member functions, even structs. It turns out that you can put functions in structs. But the difference is, it's very simple. A struct defaults to public. Notice that I didn't identify any public or private section in my structs. If I did put public, then I've changed nothing because everything by default in the struct definition is public. However, if I put a private section in there, then that would be different and I would treat it just like it was a class, really. Class members, they default to private, which means that if you don't label a particular section, it's going to be a private section. So let's take a look at some equivalent examples. On the left, struct, boot, we have two float members. What are they? They're both public. Even though it's not labeled, they're both going to be public. What about the middle one, struct, boot, public? Those two are identical the one on the left and the one in the middle, because on the left it defaults to public, in the middle it's stated explicitly public, they're the same. And then on the far right we have boot, public, float, and float, but it's a class. Is that any different? No, none whatsoever. In fact, it would compile exactly the same if I scratch that out and put struct. It would be identical. Another example, suppose we have a class of table items. Okay, notice that on the left I have private and public. So I have fold, a function in the public section, and an int and a float, number of legs in the top area in the private. Look in the middle box here. Notice that num legs top area don't have a designation as being public or private. So what are they? They default to private. And, of course, fold is still in public. So this version and this version are identical. And that's going to be identical to struct table. And fold is not designated as being either public or private. By default, it's public. It's identical to the other two. Well, traditionally, you use classes when you want an object to have functionality. You use structs when you want the objects to have only variables. And I think that structs are simply a holdover from the old C programming language. And that's the difference between classes and structs.